Hey everybody, this is TJR. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're new to this channel, I like to discuss music and other aspects of popular culture. This includes film, TV, comics, and anything else that gets me thinking. Every Friday, I like to access the movie trailer app on my Apple TV and check out the trailers for up and coming movies. And last night I was doing just this when I saw a thumbnail for a new film called Elvis. And I thought to myself, there's an Elvis biopic coming out. Give him a warm hayride welcome. <laughs> Mr. Elvis Presley. I watched this trailer and I was floored. And the more I watched it, the more intrigued I became. The movie is directed by Baz Luhrmann, starring Austin Butler as Elvis, Tom Hanks as Colonel Tom Parker, and Olivia de Young as Priscilla Presley and it releases on June 24th of this year. The film will also feature cameos of other legendary musicians and will include Sister Rosetta Tharp, portrayed by Yola, B.B. King, portrayed by Kevin Harrison Jr., Little Richard, portrayed by Alton Mason, Hank Snow, portrayed by David Wenham, and Jimmy Rogers, portrayed by Kevin Smith McPhee. In the official press release, it states, the film explores the life and music of Elvis Presley, seen through the prism of his complicated relationship with his enigmatic manager, Colonel Tom Parker. The story delves into the complex dynamic between Presley and Parker, spanning over 20 years, from Presley's rise to fame to his unprecedented stardom against the backdrop of the evolving cultural landscape and loss of innocence in America. Central to that journey is one of the most significant and influential people in Elvis's life, Priscilla Presley. First announced in 2014, this film was delayed due to the pandemic. But I have to be honest, my first awareness of this film was seeing this trailer Friday evening. Get a haircut, buttercup! <laughs> now, I have seen some of, but not all of Baz Luhrmann's films. And he has a very arresting visual style that sometimes crosses back and forth between realism and surrealism. Now, how much he will swing between these two extremes in this film remains to be seen. I also know he can be polarizing with audiences for some of his aesthetic choices, too. He certainly gained detractors for his use of hip-hop music in his adaptation of The Great Gatsby. And not everyone was happy with all of his artistic choices for his adaptation of Romeo and Juliet. But I enjoyed both films. I also really enjoyed the surreal musical mashup that was Moulin Rouge. And there is a moment in this trailer that attests to that style. I'm referring to a scene where we see an unsuspecting audience, including Colonel Tom Parker, witness a performance by a young Presley for the first time. The music in this scene is contextually out of place for the time period, and deliberately so. This is to give modern audiences a sense of how revolutionary a cultural explosion rock and roll was to America and to the world at that time. <laughs> And I get the impression that this film will portray this in a way that I don't think other films have in the past. It does appear from the trailer images that the film will cover his life from early pre-fame childhood and his introduction as a young boy to black gospel music. I also notice the trailer referencing the little discussed aspect of his boyhood fandom for the superhero character Captain Marvel Jr. The film even includes a voiceover from Hanks referencing his transformation from skinny boy to superhero. In that moment, I watched that skinny boy transform into a superhero. The film also gives us glimpses of his ascendant to stardom in the 1950s, through the 1960s, and into the 1970s. Elvis died in the late 70s, so it is likely that this film could cover his entire life and career. Now, I have stated in other videos that I am not a big fan of musical biopics that try to encapsulate an artist's entire career into one film. For instance, I preferred the more fantastical Elton John film, Rocket Man, because it clearly labeled itself as a fantasy based on reality, with no allusions to the latter, versus, say, a film like Bohemian Rhapsody, which poses as reality, but is filled with historical distortions. But I have to admit, the visual style of this film, as presented in this trailer, has really caught my attention. I am intrigued by the fact that one of the most likable movie stars in the world, Tom Hanks, is playing one of the most vilified figures in rock and roll history. The film even opens with a voiceover by Hanks attesting to this. 
There are some who'd make me out to be the villain of this here story. Because of Baz Luhrmann's filmography, it's unclear where this film will land between reality and fantasy. And I make no predictions on how good this film will or won't be. But I do have to say that this trailer has provoked a reaction out of me in a way that few do. I'm not really expecting reality from this film, but who knows? Perhaps I will get more of that than I realize. But I am hoping and hopeful that I will get a very unique and artistic take on the life and hopefully also the music of Elvis Presley. We'll find out more this summer, but in the meantime, I am very intrigued. This is TJR. What are your thoughts? Have you seen this trailer? What do you think? Are you excited to see it? Please leave a comment. As always, if you like what I do here, be sure to click like, click subscribe, and smash the bell notification icon so you never miss a video. If you'd like to show this channel a little extra support, please consider going to my Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash TGR the original, and make a monthly donation of whatever you can afford. And if you can't, that's okay. You can help this channel by just clicking like. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all stay safe and healthy. Take care. Bye-bye.